But the Shah, along with his ally America, was slow to spot the forces that would prove to be his real undoing. There can be no question of compromise in view of our opposition and the opposition of the people of Iran to the Shah. Well, I think that we have always followed the teachings of Islam. Not only because uh, it's the law of the country, but well, personally, I am a believer myself. The Islamic Revolution toppled the Shah and brought Ayatollah Khomeini to power in February 1979. It was the first religious revolution in modern history and the first televised revolution ever. It's extraordinary how one man can command such adoration. How so many people can believe that this frail old priest holds all the answers to Iran's problems. By the 70s, the Shah of Iran had become, to many of his subjects, a remote, autocratic figure living in unimaginable luxury. His parliament was now a mere rubber stamper of his commands. He had total control. الان آدم فکر میکنه که اون موقعی که فضای باز سیاسی به وجود آمد متاسفانه بد موقعی بود خب ایشون معتقد بود که پادشاهی یه چیزی که برای ایران خوبه برای یک پارچه یه ایران و یه سمبل بالای همه احزاب Do you think that the absolute uh, power which you hold in your country might be dangerous in someone else's hands? Uh, not if they keep the present institutions that I have set up because personally I have three or four channels of inspection and learning the truth if what I have today at my disposal is kept intact. They will be provided with all the instruments of checking and controlling. But these channels all come back to you? They come back to me, yes, as they should. So it isn't an exaggeration, in fact, to say that you have absolute power inside Iran? Uh, I have absolute power, maybe because uh, things have turned this way.